Come one, come all, let's finish this video series. I've been working on it for, what, a month now? Because I've been doing one a week for each phase of the menstrual cycle. And this is the final one. This is the dynamic phase, also known as the follicular, 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 follicular phase. <laughs> Mama can't talk, but yeah, that's what we're gonna work on today. So let's get started. Fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, the female body prepares every single month for a pregnancy, even if you're not preparing, even if you're trying to do the opposite and not get pregnant. So your body, regardless of what you want or what you need, is gonna prepare itself to become pregnant. So keep that in mind. So as your menstrual cycle has ended and is ending, um, the pituitary gland starts releasing small but ever increasing amounts of LH, the lutus, lutin, Luteinizing, luteinizing hormone. I can talk, I swear, luteinizing hormone. So ever, small but ever increasing amounts of luteinizing hormone and it says that this starts three days before the release of the FHS, the follicle stimulating hormone. Oh my goodness, these words are not coming out of my mouth right today. I apologize, but bear with me. I learned something that I thought but I realized I was wrong. So the follicle stimulating hormone actually sends a signal to your ovaries and about 15 to 20 follicles, I think, per ovary, um, yep, per ovary start, start maturing. So you have 15 to 20 eggs per ovary. So that could be like a total of 40 eggs. It's not just one egg per month. You have a max of like 40 eggs that can start um, maturing, but only one of them wins. And it comes out right away which one is gonna be the dominant follicle that's gonna produce the award-winning egg to release that month. So each of these slowly but actually quickly growing eggs is housed in its own follicle. And this follicle um, produces its own estrogen, and estrogen is what is gonna cause the eventual ovulation. This is my idea what, this is the follicle, I don't know. So it is a race for these many follicles to come out on top with the, like I said, award-winning egg. And this happens at around day seven to eight of your cycle. So like right away, basically, once they start developing and the rest of the follicles that were in competition disintegrate and just get kind of absorbed back in. So the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone um, starts decreasing in amount in days six to 12. And this is when the estrogen starts to kick up and the estrogen plays a role in, it starts the endometrium cycle over. So the lining starts building once again, starting at day like six to 12. So it started from nothing because it's all been empty out during menstruation. And so it's starting to build up again. This is every single month, that's crazy. By day eight or nine, the estrogen is starting to cause your those three fertility signs to change. And around this time, the very um, dormant almost luteinizing hormone surges six to 10 times, which um, surges six to 10 times its normal rate and it peaks uh, 12 to 16 hours before ovulation is gonna happen. Um, within hours of the luteinizing hormone um, surging, the follicle stimulating hormone surges as well, but it's not quite as large of a surge um, as the luteinizing hormone. But the combo of these two hormones surging such shuts down the estrogen production in that dominant follicle. And so at this point, the egg is ready, it is prepared, and it's ready to be released during ovulation, which is gonna happen not that far after these surges. Another fun fact I learned is um, your ovaries do not alternate every month. You know, you don't get one month it's the right, the next month it's the left, and then right, left, right, left. No, it, um, it just depends on which follicle becomes dominant, and that's which one releases. So you can have three months in a row from your right ovary and then left and then five months from your right. It just kind of, it depends on your body. But I was wrong. I don't I think I was under the impression that it switched every month. So that's what's going on in your body. Um, now let's talk about what's going on in your brain and your soul and all that goodness. 
this is referred to as the dynamic phase. This is a lot of people's favorite st phase, stage, whatever you want to call it, because you're just very like energetic and outgoing and you're so motivated and productive and you just feel like, yeah, I'm killing it. And it's everyone's favorite stage and the, the negative of this is people get upset that they're not like this 24 seven. But that would be impossible because you would crash and burn. This phase feels the most empowering, it feels the most productive, and it is the most rewarding phase. But it is a direct result of allowing yourself to slow down and kind of hibernate the previous week during menstruation. So you could kind of like rest or renew your energy so you could explode and just like take over the world this week. This phase, it brings just feelings of self-confidence, it feels um, self-belief, independence, increased physical energy and mental clarity and you just feel like you're on your toes and ready to go and you're just, you just feel I just, maybe it's because I just drank a lot of coffee and I'm talking about this but I feel like I'm like jazzing right now. You come out of the hibernation of the menstrual phase kind of like a bear coming out of the cave after winter and you're just like invigorated and rested and ready to step out and take over the world and make things happen and that's exactly what you should do. We feel like there is nothing we can't do or can't achieve in this phase but we can get easily frustrated when we feel like people aren't keeping up with this because we're just, we're clicking, everything's happening for us, we're very, we're pushing it, we're motivated, and you know, not everyone is gonna be as energetic and just like spot on as we are. And we can get frustrated with people if they can't keep up with our energy or our thoughts or any of that. There is a reduction in um, emotional sensibility and vulnerability at this stage, so we don't necessarily, I don't wanna say it, but we don't, Care that much about other people we do but we don't we're very focused on like getting out and getting stuff done and like putting our plan into action I love this phase but there are some women that hate this phase because they feel guilty that they're putting themselves before others keep an eye out for being insensitive or getting frustrated with yourself for not doing things or not achieving things we are more likely to make decisions without consulting anyone else and this can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what the decision is Things you can do physically to keep up with this phase and make the most out of it. You want to um, make sure you get out and do exercise to burn off any extra energy you have that can help, that will help cope with it. You know, have fun reclaiming the outside world since you've been like just by alone for the past week. Go out, um, travel, hang out with friends, go to parties, do different events. Believe all the positive thoughts you're having for yourself. Like it's a really good time to build your self confidence. Enjoy catching up on all the things you didn't do during your menstrual phase and all the things you couldn't achieve then. Then, get them all done right now. Also be aware that this phase will pass, so make the most out of it, but not be angry when it ends. Catch up on all the projects, the tasks, the meetings, everything you have put off from your menstrual phase that you knew you would just kill right now. All four of your phases are great times for different reasons. I encourage you to enjoy them for what they are, to learn about them, to understand them, and to notice when things start getting easier, and things start getting better, because that's definitely what happened for me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video series. I hope you've learned something about yourself, and I hope it's changed your perspective on your menstrual cycle. Until next time, you guys, I'll see ya. Bye.